Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel N.C. Stevens. Good morning. All right, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Chuck Stevens, the commanding officer of the 3rd Recruit Training Battalion. And on behalf of the commanding general of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, I'd like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Company L. I'd first like to extend a warm welcome to our regimental commanding officer, Colonel Gates, and to our parade reviewing officer, Colonel Driscoll, and to all the distinguished guests, families, and friends of Company L, once again, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a few minutes this morning to tell you just a little bit about the young men that you see standing in front of you. They come from 12 different countries from as far away as the Ukraine, and from as nearby as right outside the main gates here in the city of San Diego. Their average age is 19 years old, and over 99% of them are high school graduates. Three of them have college degrees. And I'm very happy to tell you that one of them has finally gotten it right, having enlisted in the Marine Corps after completing a successful tour of duty in the United States Army. <laughs> but no matter how diverse a group they were when they arrived here, some three months ago, these 471 young men came together and dedicated themselves to completing our nation's toughest and most rigorous recruit training. A recruit training process that has emphasized our core values of honor, courage, and commitment, the hallmarks of all U.S. Marines. Today, these young men represent all that is good in our great nation and in your United States Marine Corps. At this time, it is my distinct privilege to publicly address our nation's newest Marines. Good morning, Marines. I'll let them hear you, folks. They've been waiting a long time. That, ladies and gentlemen, is pride. And as you can clearly see and hear, they are extremely proud, and rightfully so, because they've earned it. And parents, I know that you share in that same sense of pride because much of their success is a direct result of the values and moral fiber that you have instilled in them. So on behalf of every man and woman in the United States, I want to thank you for providing one of your most cherished assets for the defense of our great nation. Give yourselves a hand. Now, when you get to read back today, you may notice a few changes. And I'm not just talking about his stylish new haircut. He may stand a little taller. He may be a little more mature. He will be in the best physical condition of his life. He may use strange or unusual words. Words like sir and ma'am. He will eat everything you put on his plate and likely do so in less than four minutes. And for all the mothers visiting out here today, I can promise you one thing. He knows how to make his bed. But more than that, what you're going to see is pride. Pride that comes from belonging to the greatest fighting force that this world has ever seen. Pride that only comes from having earned the title Marine. He has been transformed over these few months and the transformation will last a lifetime. The men responsible for that transformation are, of course, the legendary Marine Corps drill instructors. Through their leadership, dedication, and personal example, the drill instructors of Company L have left a lasting and positive impression on each one of your sons. 
And so if you haven't had the opportunity already, I encourage you, following today's ceremony, find your son's drill instructors and thank them for a job well done. Your words of thanks will be greatly appreciated. But long before your Marine stepped foot on the depot and met his drill instructors, he had already met with and worked with another Marine back in his hometown, his recruiter. At this time, I'd like to introduce our visiting recruiter, Sergeant Flores from Recruiting Station San Diego, California. Sergeant Flores is responsible for, for recruiting today's company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Gamble. Sergeant Flores, thank you for your professional execution of this critical Marine Corps mission. truly appreciate your efforts because let's face it without recruits there is no recruit training and so i'd like to ask each of you as you pack up and prepare to leave here and head back to your homes pick up a phone and call your son's recruiter and thank him or her for seeing that something special in your son and giving your son the opportunity to come here and earn the title and since the marine corps is always looking for a few good men and women while you've got that recruiter on the phone, you might even recommend someone of the caliber of these young men standing out here. Besides, in all fairness, why should your sons have all this fun? <laughs> Finally, I'm going to direct my attention to the seats directly in front of the view and stand for just a moment. Because I personally want to thank the wives, the families, and the friends of the officers and drill instructors that took me out. You are absolutely an integral part of our team. We simply could not accomplish our mission without your dedication to us. And even though you may have never returned to Hanselin or stood in a military formation like this one, we are well aware of the many lonely hours that you have stood up faithful watch along the home front. So for all that you do and for all that you sacrifice, you have our deepest and most sincere appreciation. Thank you. And thank you for supporting your Marines. And now please excuse me for one second while I turn to address these young men. Well, Marines, it's finally here. Your graduation day. You've made it. And in a few minutes, you're going to march off of this parade deck as United States Marines. And your future as Marines awaits you. Men, you've worked hard over these last few months in order to earn the right to bear the title Marine. And in doing so, you accept the responsibility that comes with that title. The responsibility to honor those generations of Marines who have proudly carried our nation's colors into battle. Today, as once again our nation finds its core Marines deployed around the world, those colors are passed to you. So as you prepare to leave the day boat, I ask that you never forget what you've learned here, that you take care of one another, and that you remain always faithful to our core values. Gentlemen, I'm proud of each and every one of you, and on behalf of the commanders and the drill instructors and the depot support personnel, I wish you fair winds and following seats. Simply, good house.